so hello everyone so we can start the session of 200 anatomy mcq series neat pg 2021 targeting the session third so already completed two sessions and these are the third part so let's start with the session so yes am i audible and uh, is the screen clear so that we can start the session yeah so myself dr mona lisa and i have got an 8 years of teaching experience for the past 8 years for various competitive exam and uh, for the medical field i have done my md anatomy from armed force medical college pune so i also want you to give the information of the telegram channel and the group that is called as let's crack neat pg where you can join for the updates and the links of all the sessions which is on the platform and also you can be the part of these sessions use this code and add 10 for 10 percent discount ask a doubt and for that what you have to do click ask a doubt on the screen then take a picture or from the choose from the gallery of the screen then crop the image to highlight the specific question and then select the correct subject to which the question belongs and ask the doubt by following these four steps now download the anacademy app and after that what you can do you can download it uh, from the play store find your goal as neat pg and thereafter you can follow me dr mona lisa and thereafter you can get the updates of my free sessions and for watching my free session use the code and add 10 for watching any of the free sessions on the anacademy platform you can use this code and add 10 and you can be the part of free sessions on the anacademy platform so i also want to give you the timetable and the routine of 200 anatomy mcq series which is which i have started for the targeting neat pg 2021 examination so this is the detail of the series so we have already covered up uh, part 2 this is the third part and at 5 pm the fourth part then on 14th uh, august uh, saturday in the morning hours starting from 10 11 and 12 i am taking three sessions all these sessions are of just 40 minutes and we will cover up these first seven sessions on the youtube so just watch this session for completing all the 200 anatomy mcqs question very important if you are targeting the exam so then for the last three session you have to uh, watch my live class on the anacademy platform for that you have to download the anacademy app find the educator that is dr mona lisa use this code and add 10 to unlock my session and the last three session will be taken on 17th and 18th august so you can be the part of this session 200 anatomy mcqs will be completed this will help you uh, to approach more for the preparation towards your goal for your target exam need pg 2021 now what are the features of special class features interactive live sessions can be provided in the class with the top educators on an academy platform poll with the other learners on the platform raise your hand and ask a doubt during the live session never miss a session it will it is very uh, on the special free session sessions are targeted for the students so you just not miss that session lecture notes can be taken by you after completion of the session you have to just download the app and you will get the next next uh, you will get the notes of the lecture watch the classes live or recorded from the device wherever uh, you are there and this will be highly beneficial for you use the code and add 10 if you are downloading the unacademy app for the first time now my dear aspirants subscribe live and like and share the neat pg let's crack neat pg platform now use my referral code that is an ad 10 if you want to take the subscription of an academy so if you want to be the part of uh, an academy plus courses you have to use my code for getting 10 percent discount okay let's start with the session let's start with the first mcq okay identify the histological slide whether it is elastic cartilage whether it is fibro costal cartilage your time begins now identify the histological slide whether it is elastic fibro or costal cartilage or none of the above Question number one, mark the correct answer. Okay. So your time begins now. Whichever you find this, uh, this slide uh, uh, close to the option provided, you can mark it. Otherwise, I will help you with this answer. Don't worry. 
okay so yes harini is telling b okay i got the answer from harini what about others yes so what about others so yes rangaraj harini both of you are correct sam fibro cartilage is the correct answer yes so here it is easy to identify this is fibro cartilage so uh, i will help you to understand most of you are right can you see here these are chondrocytes so these are chondrocytes and the number sarans acharya you are also right so yes these are the chondrocytes and the chondrocytes are very less in number as you can see here they are less in number and the whole slide is having wavy fibers can you see here these are all wavy fibers which is like so it is consist of these wavy fibers that is collagen fibers what is this this is collagen fibers this is the chondrocytes and scanty chondrocyte as compared to that of hyaline cartilage and elastic cartilage is there so this becomes a slide of fibro cartilage also what you can see there is no presence of perichondrium so there is no p for perichondrium so this is a slide of fibro cartilage okay so yes i have included another diagram in which the important features of fibro cartilage has been shown to you fibro cartilage so what you can see nuclei of chondrocytes you can see collagen fibers chondrocytes are residing on a space that is called as that is called as lacunae row of chondrocytes and cartilage matrix and collagen fibers has been shown so the correct answer is fibro cartilage with no perichondrium covering now identify the histological slide second question number second identify the histological slide whether it is tonsil write the name only tonsil thymus thyroid gland or lymph node if you want i will write a b c or also this is a this is b this is c and this is d option identify the histological slide question number second according to you which is the correct answer okay so saran is telling uh, uh, thyroid sam is telling 2c what about others thyroid okay yes so my dear aspirants you are absolutely right yes the slide is of thyroid see here i will so so actually in this slide you can see these are colloid filled spaces what is this these are all colloid filled spaces these are all colloid which you can see here so this is all colloid as you can see and also you can see it is surrounded by these uh, follicles so these are thyroid follicles as you can see here so this becomes a so colloid is seen and this is giving you a, a hint that this is a slide of thyroid see here i have included a histological slide of thyroid where the colloid is seen follicular cells has been visible so a slide which is showing you colloid along with the thyroid uh, uh, follicles so this becomes a slide of thyroid gland absolutely right let's move on to the next a patient presented with a patient p here this is p patient presented with acute abdominal pain on clinical examination so the patient underwent cholecystectomy so according to it what is the structure which is present with the surgeon is having the lining epithelium question number 3 mark the correct answer patient presented with acute abdominal pain on clinical examination the patient has underwent cholecystectomy so according to you what is the correct one the lining epithelium is squamous epithelium simple columnar epithelium simple columnar epithelium with brush border or d cuboidal cells with stereocilia mm, okay so b and c i am getting b and i am getting c as the answer what is the correct one so i will go with the correct answer actually the correct answer is c simple columnar epithelium with brush border actually if a simple columnar epithelium with the irregular why brush border because there is irregular arrangement of there is irregular arrangement of microvilli irregular arrangement of microvilli so it is called as microvilli so it is called as stereocilia Uh, so sorry so it is called as brush border okay all other option cuboidal with stereocilia is uh, simple columnar and squamous epithelium are not correct but microvilli arrangement is irregular so this becomes a slide of gall bladder absolutely right rangaraj so see here i have included 
this slide where the um, epithelium where the, where the histological part of the gallbladder has been shown so in the slide of gallbladder what you can appreciate the lining epithelium here it is shown the lining epithelium is the lining epithelium is simple columnar epithelium with microvilli and the microvilli is irregular lamina propria is shown so actually which two layers are absent in gallbladder can anybody tell me two layers are absent in gallbladder which two layers are absent in gallbladder it is having very irregular arrangement of the mucosa thrown in folds thrown in folds and two layers are absent in gallbladder which two layer can anybody tell me the answer the two layers which is absent in gallbladder gallbladder slide is not having muscularis mucosae and sub mucosa so please note down gallbladder slide gallbladder slide is having no sub mucosa yes absolutely right no sub mucosa and muscularis mucosae and muscularis mucosae muscularis mucosa and sub mucosa these two layers are absent in the slide of gallbladder in the slide of gallbladder got it let's move on to question number 4 palatine tonsil develops from which of the following pouch palatine uh, tonsil develops from which of the following pouch question number 4 mark the correct answer whether it is one first pouch second pouch third pouch or fourth pouch your time begins now okay so fourth answer is c c okay i am getting uh, c and b so uh, b and c both i am getting it which is the correct one palatine tonsil is from second second or third third se kya hota hai thymus hota hai na see here slightly confused you are so it is from second year it is from second so see here i will show you this diagram so see here quickly see the revision so can you see from the first pouch primary tympanic cavity is developing auditory tube and tympanic cavity palatine tonsil is from the second third se do structure hote hain parathyroid gland inferior and thymus and fourth se superior parathyroid so everyone can revise everyone can revise see this diagram first se kya hota hai टिम्पैनिक कैविटी एंड ऑडिटरी ट्यूब सेकेंड से क्या होता है पैलाटाइन टॉन्सिल पैलाटाइन टॉन्सिल थर्ड से क्या होता है इन्फीरियर पैराथायरॉयड ग्लैंड एंड थाइमस एंड फोर्थ से क्या होता है सुपीरियर पैराथायरॉयड ग्लैंड इज इट ओके एवरी वन इज इट ओके गॉट इट सो वंस अगेन यू कैन रिवाइज दिस इफ स्लाइटली कन्फ्यूज यू कैन रिवाइज दिस सो दैट यू विल गेट द करेक्ट वन Let's move on to fifth one. Bucopharyngeal membrane is consists of. Bucopharyngeal membrane is consists of which of the following two layer? Endoderm, mesoderm, ectoderm, endoderm, mesoderm, ectoderm, or the three layers? Okay, great, Saran. So mark the correct answer. Question number fifth. Mark the correct answer. the pharyngeal buccal pharyngeal membrane is consist of how many layers and which is the correct answer so your time begins now so yes absolutely right sarans and everyone harini sarans yes ectoderm and endoderm so actually at the two side one is cloacal membrane another is buccal pharyngeal membrane there is no intervening mesoderm so see here at the level of cloacal membrane posteriorly and buccal pharyngeal membrane anteriorly there is no there is no mesoderm there is no mesoderm intervening so only two layers are there buccal uh, there is ectoderm and endoderm yes sri rangraj absolutely right so let's move on to the next one arch of aorta develops from which of the following aortic arch artery which of the following aortic arch arch artery is giving rise to arch of aorta question number 6 whether it is right first right third right fourth or left third your time begins now mark the correct answer question number 6 so yes harini is telling c sarans is telling c the fourth fifth harini sarans 
yeah absolutely right so c option is absolutely right left four so my dear aspirants i have just included this those who have uh, those who want to revise they can revise derivatives of aortic arch so from the first arch the artery arising is maxillary second is hyoidal and stapedial third is a common carotid and first part of internal carotid left hand side mein fourth arch se arch of aorta and left common carotid artery till the level of left subclavian right hand side mein right subclavian artery sixth arch se left side mein left pulmonary right side mein right pulmonary and in left side also ductus arterius so all of you can revise this yes all of you can revise this the derivatives of aortic arch let's move on to the next all our branches of lumbar plexus except which of the following nerve is not a branch of lumbar plex which of the following nerve is not a branch of lumbar plexus mark your correct answer whether it is ilio hypogastric ilio inguinal obturator nerve or subcostal nerve your time begins now question number 7 So yes, I got D as the correct answer. What about others? Sarans is also telling D, Sadaf D, Harini D, Sam Lakshmi. Oh, absolutely right. Subcostal nerve is absolutely correct answer. Absolutely right. Subcostal nerve is not a branch of lumbar plexus. It is giving a communicating branch to lumbar plexus. All other are ilio hypogastric, ilio inguinal, and obturator nerve is the branch of lumbar plexus. See this diagram. In this diagram, you can see the lumbar plexus. as formed from first lumbar second lumbar nerve third and the fourth and the branches are ilio hypogastric ilio inguinal genito femoral lateral femoral cutaneous femoral nerve accessory obturator and that of obturator nerve these are the branches of lumbar plexus let's move on to the next question next mcq inability to maintain the pelvis position while standing on one leg the nerve paralyzed is which of the following nerve is paralyzed superior gluteal nerve inferior gluteal nerve tvl part of sciatic common peroneal nerve question number 8 mark the correct answer which nerve is injured which will lead to inability of the pelvis to maintain its position on one leg okay so yes okay i am getting a as the answer many of you are giving a as the answer absolutely right yes superior gluteal nerve is absolutely right superior gluteal nerve is supplying two muscle that is gluteus medius and minimus it is giving innervation to two muscle gluteus medius and minimus and when gluteus medius and minimus muscles are paralyzed what will happen the person is not able to maintain its position of hip when standing on one leg because the other side unsupported side of the hip is raised upward direction by the opposite side gluteus medius and minimus when the gluteus medius and minimus is paralyzed can you see here unsupported side unsupported side will sag down it is sagging down so this occurs sagging down this occurs in the injury of superior gluteal nerve and paralysis of gluteus medius and minimus muscle absolutely right sadaf motor so tell me mot most sorry uh, sorry most anterior structure on tibial plateau which of the following is most anterior structure okay yes superior glute yes absolutely right it is also supplying tensor fasciae lata now question number 9 most anterior structure on tibial plateau is which of the following is most anterior structure on tibial plateau whether it is anterior horn of lateral meniscus or medial meniscus anterior cruciate ligament ligamentum patellae question number 9 mark the correct answer sadaf is telling b sam is telling b yashu is telling b jani yashu is telling b sarans absolutely right all of you are absolutely right the correct answer is anterior horn of medial meniscus absolutely right dear absolutely right see here i have included this diagram where you can quickly revise the structures on the superior aspect of the tibia or this is the intercondylar area so please see this this structure which you are seeing here this whole area is intercondylar area of tibia most posterior absolutely right yes most posterior structure is posterior cruciate ligament and most anterior structure is anterior end of medial meniscus so this is the first structure the second structure which you are seeing here is the 
anterior cruciate ligament then we have got anterior end of lateral main uh, lateral meniscus then we have got posterior end of lateral meniscus and then we have got posterior end of medial meniscus and the most posterior structure is posterior cruciate ligament that is medical college lucknow lucknow medical college what is the mnemonic medical college lucknow lucknow medical college you can remember the relation of structure on the intercondylar area of tibia by the mnemonic medical college m for medial meniscus c for college lucknow lateral meniscus and again medical college uh, lucknow lucknow medical college that is lateral meniscus medial meniscus and posterior cruciate ligament done let's move on to the next abduction of thigh is limited by which of the following structure is limiting the abduction movement of the thigh whether it is tension in adductors tension in adductors and iliofemoral ligament tension in adductors and pubofemoral ligament tension in adductors and ischiofemoral ligament four options are there mark the correct answer question number 10 mark the correct answer question number 10 mark the correct answer Sarans is telling B. Harini is telling C. Sri Rangaraj is telling B. Okay, let me give you the correct one. My dear aspirants, the correct answer is B. Abduction of thigh is limited by so addu adductors. तो सही होगा ही. Okay, adductors is absolutely right, and the other ligament is pubofemoral. So yes, pubofemoral. it's the pubo femoral c means c okay pubo femoral adductor and pubo femoral c is the correct answer all of you c is the correct answer let me explain you 10 ka b no no ilio femoral nahi hoga ilio femoral i will explain you ilio femoral not why because ilio femoral li is limiting backward so it is limiting it is preventing backward fall it is preventing backward fall of the person when he or she is standing erect pubo femoral is limiting abduction movement it is limiting abduction ischio femoral is limiting internal rotation harini abduction of thigh is limited by tension in adductors and pubo femoral pubo pubo got it pubo c c harini it's c c pubo femoral ilio femoral is preventing the backward fall it is preventing the person from uh, it is preventing the person from falling backward so it is not exactly preventing in abduction agar abduction movement ko limit karenge to c is the correct answer yes saran c is the correct answer c is the correct answer so see here iliofemoral ligament one of the most important ligament and most important ligament it is also called as bigloi ligament yes so bigloi ligament bigloi bigloi ligament which is preventing backward fall pubo femoral ligament limiting the abduction movement so it is the correct answer ischio femoral ligament limiting the internal rotation limiting the internal rotation yes you are right sarans hyperextension it is involved and preventing hyperextension absolutely right sarans yes let's move on to the next deltoid ligament is is not attached to which of the following ligament deltoid ligament is not attached to which of the following ligament medial cuneiform medial malleolus sustentaculum tali or spring ligament question number 11 mark the correct answer so yes question number uh, Harini is telling A. Sadaf is also telling A. So yes, I am getting mixed bundle of uh, no A. Meaning of the yes, A is absolutely correct. A is absolutely correct. Deltoid ligament is not attached to which of the following medial cuneiform, medial malleolus, sustentaculum, tali, or spring ligament. Absolutely right. So A is the correct answer. Actually, deltoid ligament means which ligament? We are talking about which ligament? we are talking about medial ankle ligament medial ankle ligament saran c no dear 
सस्टेंटा कुलम टैली पे ये अटैच होता है नॉट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग नॉट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग नॉट अटैच टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग लिगामेंट सो मीडियल यूनिफॉर्म इज राइट लेट मी सो यू दिस डायग्राम सो एवरी वन प्लीज सी दिस डायग्राम दिस इज सोइंग द मीडियल एंकल लिगामेंट दिस इज सोइंग द डायग्राम दिस इज सोइंग द मीडियल एंकल लिगामेंट सो ऑल ऑफ यू जस्ट सी दिस डायग्राम सुपीरियर अटैचमेंट इज सेम सुपीरियर अटैचमेंट इज ऑन एम एम वॉट डू यू मीन बाई एम एम मीन सुपीरियर अटैचमेंट इज इन द मीडियल मैलोलस superior attachment of medial ankle ligament or deltoid ligament is on the medial malleolus of tibia this is which attachment superior attachment of deltoid ligament now coming to the inferior attachment so inferiorly you can see it is called as tibio calcaneal tibio calcaneal that means it is attached to sustenta culum tali that means it is attached to sustenta culum tali now it is also giving anterior tibio talar and posterior tibio talar means it is attaching onto the talus bone anteriorly and that of posteriorly it is also having tibio navicular part tibio navicular which i am highlighting with blue color it is merging with the navicular bone and the spring ligament see here it is merging with the spring ligament and also n for navicular n for navicular so is it clear that means it is attached to sustenta culum tali it is attached to spring navicular ligament it is attached to talus calcaneum and medial malleolus but not to cuneiform bone okay sarans let's move on to the next one question number 12 all are the contents of femoral triangle yes yes sarans absolutely right all are the contents of femoral triangle except all of you are knowing the answer only the thing is that maybe in in hurry the mistake has gone so all are the contents of femoral triangle except all of the following are the contents of femoral triangle except femoral artery femoral vein nerve to pectineus superficial inguinal ligament all are the contents of femoral triangle please read it rightly read the option nicely all of you are telling d mm. all of you are telling d what is the correct answer anyone wants to give more femoral triangle content read it nicely oh 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 yeah <laughs> good one good one sabne fir se answer change kiya yes i got got you right okay great one yes you are knowing the fact i know uh, kaun sa lymph node hota hai femoral triangle mein deep inguinal lymph node that is called as inguinal lymph node deep that is clocket yes so c is the correct answer all other options so superficial inguinal lymph node is present in the roof of femoral triangle it is present in the roof of femoral triangle and deep inguinal this was asked in previous year yes but the option is femoral triangle so femoral triangle is correct nerve to pectineus is sarans yes femoral triangle is correct because nerve to pectineus is is uh, given below the trunk so it is lying in the it is Uh, so what happens it is uh, lying in in the triangle so only c option is uh, the correct answer got it everyone everyone yes shri rangraj right everyone right harini now so nerve to pectineus is the content but not the superficial inguinal lymph node after surgery on right side of a neck a person could not raise his arm above the head and also could not shrug the shoulder so what is the possible reason what is the possible reason injury to deltoid paralysis of latissimus dorsi injury to axillary nerve injury to spinal accessory nerve question number 13 what is the correct answer okay okay mark uh, question number 13 mark the correct answer everyone sadaf is telling d okay so yes paralysis of latissimus dorsi siddiqui b okay 13d harini is telling b harini is also telling b paralysis of latissimus dorsi cannot shrug the shoulder and raise the hand above the head to kya hoga answer what will be the answer after surgery on the side of the neck neck mein 
he is not he able to raise the arm above the head yes spine d is the correct answer the muscle paralyzes trapezius and the nerve paralyzes spinal accessory nerve the nerve which is paralyzes spinal accessory nerve spinal accessory nerve is a content of posterior triangle spinal accessory nerve is a content of posterior triangle running between the roof and the floor spinal accessory nerve runs between roof and the floor that means in between investing layer and the prevertebral layer of deep cervical fascia so it is injured and if it is injured two muscles are injured sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle we know that trapezius muscle along with serratus anterior muscle is raising the arm above the head so d option is correct see here spinal accessory nerve important content of posterior triangle giving innervation to trapezius muscle and sternocleidomastoid muscle and trapezius muscle is paralyzed that is the reason that the person is not able to raise the arm above the head along with serratus anterior muscle so d option is absolutely correct so all of the following structure passes through lesser sciatic foramen except all of the following structure passes through lesser sciatic foramen except a pudendal nerve b obturator internus muscle internal pudendal vessels nerve to obturator internus which one of the following is correct question number 14 okay so i am getting answers sam is telling b saranth is telling b tarik is telling b sadaf is telling b and the correct answer is also b actually through the lesser sciatic foramen obturator internus muscle is not passing tendon passes yes absolutely right tarik pin and tendon yes pin tendon tendon of obturator internus and pudendal nerve internal pudendal vessels and nerve to obturator internus passes absolutely right sadaf see here i have included this diagram which is showing you the structures passing through greater sciatic foramen that is piriformis muscle superior inferior gluteal nerve nerve to quadratus femoris sciatic nerve and posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh through lesser sciatic foramen sirf exit kar raha hai that structure is obturator internus muscle tendon tendon and if we talk about uh, the structures which is exiting the structure which is exiting from greater sciatic foramen and entering into the lesser sciatic foramen the structure is pin structure p i n okay pudendal nerve internal pudendal vessels and nerve to obturator internus so please revise this from this diagram where you can see all the structures traversing greater sciatic foramen se pel the structure is getting from pelvis to gluteal region lesser sciatic say from the gluteal region to perineum do revise let's move on to the next question number 15 content of mid palmar space are all except content of mid palmar space is all except fdp of fourth finger fdp of third finger second lumbrical or the first lumbrical mark the correct answer content of mid palmar space is all except 15th number question saranth is telling a sadaf is telling uh, d what about others mid palmar space please mark it it is mid palmar space it's mid palmar space Okay, so Tarik is telling A, Harini is telling D, Sri Rangraj is telling D, and the correct answer is D. Is D. So first lumbrical is passing through thinner space. It is passing through thinner space. It is not passing through mid palmar space. Actually, flexor digitorum profundus tendon for the index finger is passing through the uh through the thinar space not through the mid palmar space rest all options are included as a content for the mid palmar space let me show you a diagram for this then you will get a clear picture of this see here this diagram is showing you mid palmar space this is mid palmar space and this is the thinar space so you can see here in the mid palmar space tendons for the middle little finger and the ring finger lies not for index finger so tendons of flexor digitorum profundus and for 
digitorum index finger is lying in the thinar space so that means the first lumbrical will lie here because it arises from the from the tendon of fdp index finger okay so all other structures which is shown here is shown here the tendons of fds for the little ring and middle index finger ke liye thinar space so first lumbrical will be a content of thinar space not the content of mid palmar space is it clear to everyone is it clear this one all of you just see this transverse section showing the spaces of the hand where you can clearly see the thinar space is containing flexor digitorum profundus tendon in the index finger of index finger so that is the correct option okay so before ending the session i would like to give you again the overview of my upcoming session download the anacademy app find your goal as neat pg and then follow me on the anacademy platform dr mona lisa so that you can get the updates and the links of my session uh, start following me and thereafter use my code and add 10 for seeing my free session on the anacademy platform so seven sessions of this 200 and at me mcq is taken on the youtube session tarik second third and fourth yes tarik second third and fourth all lies in the mid palmar space except the first first one lies in the thinar space tarik siddiqui first one lies in the thinar space only the second third and fourth lies in the mid palmar space first one lies in the thinar space okay tarik see here 14th 10 am 11 am 12 one more session is left for today so 5 pm again you join me after 15 to 20 minutes after 20 minutes you can join me for the fourth session that is the mcq and at me 200 and at me mcq's fourth part on let's crack neat pg platform okay now and for the last three session what i told you seven sessions on the yt channel let's crack neat pg and i have targeted total 10 sessions three sessions on are on the unacademy platform so you can join me on the unacademy platform for the session use my code and add 10 if you are using the platform for the first time first time unlock code and be the part of my session so on on 17 and 18 17 i am taking two session 18 i am taking one session on the unacademy platform use the code and add 10 unlock it and be the part of this session 6 pm 7 pm and 6 pm is the timing So let me explain you the benefits of plus subscription. So the benefits of plus subscription is that you can be the part of all live interactive and recorded session on the plus uh, on the plus platform of Unacademy, which will be highly beneficial for you. So you can target your respective exam, whether it is next, whether it is FMG, whether it is INICT, whether it is prof examination, whether it is uh, uh, your uh, preparation for the theory part, practical part. for the year wise first year second year so many many multiple courses are there on the platform you can join any one of this uh, study from india's top educators in the medical field compete in the live test and quizzes and the poll study from the device and at your own uh, your own place and also if you miss any of the session you will be uh, you can see the sessions on the recorded version number of time it is not limited every four session is a doubt clearing session assess more than 25000 high yield mcqs of all 19 subject coming soon is the printed notes on the unacademy platform of the plus subscription you will get if you will take the subscription more than one year you can be the part of printed you can get the printed notes of the unacademy platform iconic subscription again on the benefits of the plus subscription add on benefits is of prep ladder so these benefits can be targeted by you where you can take the sessions clinical integrated education video lectures q bank 3 can be assessed dream notes of the prep ladder faculty rapid revision and snapshots so all these benefits are add on benefits of the plus platform so printed notes video lectures from the dream team of prep ladder q bank 3 can be assessed by you rapid revision snapshots all these can be assessed by you do take the subscription if you are preparing for neat pg exam if you are preparing for next exam if you are preparing for i n i c t use my code and add 10 for 10% discount so batches are which is going on the platform focus fmg batch neat pg test analysis batch target next 2022 batch neat pg ultra fast high revision batch this is the code for 10% discount neat pg one month package in this you can get ultra fast high revision batches emergency room mcq batches neat pg test analysis batches last 3 year 
previous uh, year MCQs COVID test and grant test series. So do attend this part. If you want, take the subscription. It will be highly beneficial for targeting your entrance exam and getting the dream rank. Use my code and add 10 for 10% 10 discount and take the subscription of Unacademy. Highly effective QBank upgraded fund, high yield clinical question based on latent exam includes a detailed explanation. So do assess it. Take the subscription of Unacademy, use the code and add 10 and get 10% discount. Med Genius Scholarship Test is coming up on 14th August, that is tomorrow, 8 p.m. is the timing, one hour session, 50 MCQs. All need aspirants can target it. It is absolutely free. And if you get good ranks and if you get, uh, uh, if you are ranker for this test, scholarship test, you get free subscription of Unacademy. Grand test series is there coming up. So these are all the timetables and schedule of grand tests prepared by the top educators of Unacademy platform. So join this four year subscription. You can be the part of four year subscription for iconic or plus subscription. Use my code and add 10 for 10% discount. Take 12 month of subscription and get additional two month of subscription absolutely free. One month of subscription at a discounted rate of just 4,500, another discount of 10% that is 450 rupees again discounted. So you can be the part of this session, take this uh, uh, subscription, use my code and add 10 for 10% discount. At the end, I have included the slide where the comparison of the pricing details of the Iconic and Plus platform has been shared. So you can just compare it and you can take the subscription according to your time and if you are first or second year go for four year subscription use this code and add 10 for 10 percent discount all the best so let's meet at 5 pm with the session thank you so much with the fourth session of with the fourth session thank you so much